What's up everybody, welcome to part one of three videos on how to use Marmalade effectively in order to increase your Etsy SEO knowledge, better your Etsy SEO, and of course, get more sales on Etsy. That's why we're all here. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Dave, welcome back. If you're not new to this channel, either way, please consider subscribing. I do new videos all the time on Etsy, e-commerce, and personal success. So. In this video, we're going to go over just the very simple search function. Um, it's obviously the most powerful function of this software. And I'm going to go over every single metric that's in it, what it means, and how you can apply it in your Etsy shop. Now, if you don't have Marmalade yet, please consider getting it through my affiliate link. Once you do decide, I get a tiny little commission and you don't pay a penny more and it helps support me making more videos just like this. So let's get started. I'm going to use a really common keyword and a really popular thing that has been on Etsy for the past year or two, slime. Um, it's, it was, it's pretty viral. It was pretty viral. And it's kind of funny because I made a video on Marmalade a few, uh, maybe like last year, it's right here. Uh, not even last year, it was like six months ago, honestly. And you can see right here in the video, here, I'll get it bigger so you can see. You can see right here in the video that it had six, th 363,000 searches in one month and 2.9 million engaged listings. So that's really huge, but now, it's much, much lower. It, it really, really decreased over time. So first, I want to go over this gate engagement over time metric here because this is a really overlooked one um, because sometimes, you know, you can jump on a hype train and uh, and and not and be jumping on when it's going downhill. So um, it was it was really, really popular like two years ago, but it went consistently downwards and you can see where it's heading. So it was really, really popular a few years ago, and then now it kind of died out. Sure, there's a lot of slime shops making a lot of money, but it was much, much easier, obviously, here in November of 2018. So anyway, let's get started with the video. Um, well, we already have started, my bad. The searches right here, it's the estimated amount of searches that are going to happen within the next 30 days. So Marmalade uses the data from the past 30 days to tell you the estimation of the next 30 days rather than just showing you what happened in the past 30 days because it might change like we see here it, it very well might change so based on the searches from the last 30 days marmalade is estimating an average of 2.2 thousand searches in the next 30 days it's a rolling 30-day average so out of those 2.2 thousand listings there will be 4.4 thousand engagements so that will be views and clicks, etc. So this is the amount of shops um, and listings that are competing with that this exact keyword and tag. It's over 50,000. And one thing I want to say here again, and I've always said this about Marmalade and any other, you know, SEO software period is that you don't need to get afraid of high competition. Um, you know, some of the most Lucrative businesses are the most competitive markets and most competitive industries. So you can't always hide in the shade. You can't always like be slithering through the shade and trying to find what's what's you know not talked about yet or or whatever it may be. You know, do not be afraid of the competition. All of the keywords I use currently have red on the on the tags. That's not saying that you shouldn't have a healthy mix of you know green, green, or whatever it may be. It might be orange here, green here, and then green here again. You don't. You want to have a healthy mix, yes, but so many people I see on forums or in the comments here on this channel, I see people saying that they don't want to use or they're, they're you know, alluding to the fact that they don't use keywords that have red in for competition, or, aka above 50,000 people. And that is just silly because you want to go where the money is, and so does everyone else, and that makes sense. The only thing you need to do is make sure that you're ranking, and that is why we're using Marmalade. So let's continue here. So we can say here that 
Marmalade analyzed 100 listings and gave you an average based on this 100 listings. It gave you the average of the first 100 listings because those are the ones that matter. We don't want to we don't want to analyze the like last page couple listings on there. We want to analyze the first best 100 listings. So, out of those 100 listings, 74 of those shops were in those you know generated those 100 listings. That means some of the shops had duplicate, not duplicate listings, but more than one listings in that 100 listings. So this is the percentage of those shops giving free shipping, flat out free shipping. So this gives you a really good idea of where the market is at. So like if you're selling a mug, you know, a lot less people are offering free shipping because with all the print on demand companies, you know, a lot of the cost is in the shipping for mugs or whatever the product may be. So you need to look at this metric as well. Guys, the reason I'm going over all of these metrics on the search page here is because so many people with Marmalade get wrapped up in just these three numbers right here. And that's good. These are obviously the most important three numbers. But I want to go over every other metric with you because they mean a lot. They mean a lot and it means a lot for your decision making process. So Stick with me throughout this entire video and entire three video series because it'll give you a lot of value and it'll give you a lot of forward thinking so you can, you know, make better decisions just beyond, you know, oh, this keyword's good, this keyword's bad. Obviously, we learned that with the whole decrease in popularity with slime here. That would be really sad if you, you know, were trying to, you know, if you wanted to spend thousands and thousands of dollars, nobody's going to do that, to start a slime shop. And just to come to find out, you know, the popularity is decreasing immensely. So anyway, continuing on, this is a very, very important metric here, these three. The bargain price, the mid-range price, and the premium price. So it tells you, obviously, you know, low, medium, and high price averages for this keyword and for your market, for your industry, whatever you're looking here with Marmalade Search. So the bargain price is one to four dollars. That's obviously a bargain. Mid-range price four to nine. And then I'm really not sure who's charging a thousand dollars for slime. Um, that's kind of interesting. Maybe somebody's just goofing around. Oh, right here, a thousand dollar slime box. Let's check it out just because. Let's just go ahead and look at it. One thousand mega slime box, most slime ever. See, you never know when you when you come across this type of stuff. I'll take two, please. Yes, thank you. No. All right, back to Marmalade. So this is going to give you a really good idea of what you should price your products at so you can you know, stay competitive. These are all the listings. They're not all the listings, but some of the listings that have been analyzed. So you can click on them like I just did to investigate further and look at the shop, look at you know how many sales they might have, whatever it may be. Do your little Etsy spy routine, whatever you like to do, and that's how you can get to those ones. Here's another pricing spread, which is really useful. It shows you how many items are in like each category. Oh, 11 items are $5 out of that 100 listings that we looked at. So, you know, you can see here, one of them is $60, one is $40. And, you know, you don't want to rely totally on these prices. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to be afraid of charging over. You know, you don't want to be scared into undervaluing yourself because this is another lesson I want to teach you guys that just because everybody let's say like let's say the mid-range price was four well, okay the, the mid-range price is four to nine dollars and let's say that you know you make slime that you feel is worth like 14.99 that doesn't mean oh no I shouldn't charge 14.99 that that just it just a, a metric don't sell yourself short because when you price yourself higher you are immediately price has a psychological impact on the customer saying this is or this should be you know based on the price a premium product right so there's plenty of shops that i compete with that have what much lower prices but it doesn't mean anything to me because I give a more premium experience. They may they might have less they might have bad reviews. They might be lazy. They whatever it may be, but I provide a premium experience. So this is not like the end all be all these three these three metrics right here. If you want to charge $25 for your slime in this instance, you know, cuz we're going with slime. 
If you want to charge 25 bucks for your slime, you know, you better deliver and not be afraid to do so because you will get it if it is worth it and you have good photos, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's another little thing of the shipping prices. Here is the free little piece of the pie. It highlights it there, as you can see. And a lot of people are charging $250 to $5. That's the majority of the market for slime. People are charging $250 to $5. So that will give you a great idea on what to charge for yourself. If you can get away with charging, you know, $199 and then mix it into the price, the rest into the price, great, good for you. Or if you want to do free shipping like all these people here, good for you. But this little metric, this graph right here, really, really helps you to strategize and choose the best shipping price for yourself. Excellent. Here's the amount of days to ship, the processing times. This is huge as well because processing time, in my experience and my very strong opinion, affects your rank. Not, not, I'm not saying that right when you change your processing time, you're about to start ranking better, but it is a psychological impact on the customer. They see it, that it processes shorter. They go, oh, cool, one-day processing time. That means it's shipping tomorrow. Then Etsy sees that you are consistently delivering. Uh, tracking numbers are consistently getting marked delivered way more and way quicker than the next guy or the next girl. Then boom, you start ranking higher. This is exactly, exactly how I've ranked higher than a lot of my competition because just offering faster processing time. Like again, like I said, again, you're not gonna like immediately start ranking way better because you change the processing time. And this also does not mean change the processing time to one day and then just print the label and let it sit around because I am talking about when it this tracking status saying delivered the time from you printing or them ordering and the tracking saying delivered etsy in my opinion views that and ranks you on that that is something i go over extensively in my course that you can check out in the link below in the description but that's all i'll say for this one because that that this is a huge thing right here how where your competition is you know processing their 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 orders how fast they're processing their orders so definitely keep an eye on this as well so here's the, the another graph for the pricing of the shipping. And then here's another little, you know, it really spells it out for you. On average, listings with free shipping are priced $5 higher. This is more than the average shipping cost of $4.65. So sellers are covering the cost of shipping and their prices for this keyword market. You'll see these, num these colors here. You'll see these colors change. And you'll see, uh, wait, no, I, I take that back. I don't. No, if you'll see the colors change. I can't remember at the moment. But you will see these three metrics change right here. They will always change because each item will be different. Sometimes people won't cover the shipping costs. For example, if you're shipping really big things, this will say sellers are not covering the shipping costs. I, I believe it'll be in red. So going on from there, this is this sentence really sums it up. It's pretty powerful for, for each keyword that you search. So going on from there, they have some sample listings, another little sample listings. These were the sample listings that we've seen above that I clicked on earlier. And it shows you on the side here on the right, the days to ship, how many photos they have. This, this listing only has one photo. So that's too bad for them because I want to see more than, I want to see at least five photos in your listings, you guys. This is a custom slime listing, I understand, but they should have past photos of old of uh, past customer or custom orders, right? So, if you guys have any other questions, you know, just put them in the comments below and I'll I'll cover them in an FAQ video. So, here down here is popular tags. So, this is another really good thing to look at and you can change the amount of entries for how many show up right here. Slime, obviously the big one, slime party, slime birthday, slime invita invitation, etc. Then this is what I like to look at. This is similar to the metric we're about to get to below. Similar shopper searches. So sometimes this box is going to be just complete nonsense because the market or the, the specific you know product that you're looking at is such like a maybe really broad niche or a really popular thing, a lot of the times, you know, like Harry Potter will show up in here, 
regardless of what you put in because it's just something that's so popular that is connected to those types of shoppers that they're also shopping for that type of stuff on Etsy. So Harry Potter will will creep up in here from time to time. Um, so this also you can, this is a really good feature right here. You want to click over here and filter by engagement. So it filters the high engagement to low engagement. You click one more time and then the, it'll show you the most engaged with similar shopper searches. So here's a lot. Here's an interesting metric. See, this is red under 25 searches, but then the engagement is really high. I find that really odd. Um, I'm not sure, not quite sure how to explain that, but you will see some weird things go on with uh, with some with some keywords. So clear slime is doing really good, and you will not be able to see these things unless you filter out by engagement like I did here. It'll give you like the bad ones, and it'll kind of give you a good like spread. But I want you to click on engagement, and then so you can see them all. This is really powerful because if any of them are relevant to you, you want to include those too. So going down, long tail alternatives. Here are some long tail alternatives. And these long tails, you can use as inspiration for your own long tails, or you can steal them, you know, not steal them. It's not stealing, we're looking it up, obviously. But you can steal them for yourself. So cream cheese slime is not ranking good here, but you could combine it, you know, cream slime cheese slime, right? Those two might be good together. Then in the title, you put cream cheese slime, but that is going to be in part two. So we're not done with part one yet though. So stick with me. That will be in part two. These long tail alternatives are also filter. You can filter these by engagement, which is another powerful thing. I want you guys to look at when you are choosing your SEO with Marmalade. And then this is my favorite one. We've been over this a few times in, in my past Marmalade videos is the bubble. And the bubble shows you all, shows you, tells all, shows all. Um, it really, really is useful for finding very related things that you may not have thought of. So it helps you to get out of the box and into the bubble. I just made that up. I'm pretty proud of myself. So um, yeah, it helps you to look at, you know, just related keywords. And then you take these keywords and you put them over here into comparison, which we will be going over in part two. So if, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, please subscribe and comment below. Also, consider getting Marmalade through my affiliate link to help support the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.